Good morning, modern steaders. I wonder how Andy and his ladies did last night in the chicken coop. Andy hasn't been in a coop for over six months. What did you think, Andy? You're still alive. You made it. Making the little ones wait their turn. You excited that today's your last day of school and you get a few days off this week? Extra days off this week, huh? And then you got flute practice today? Cool beans. You trying to stay warm? We're gonna be getting more snow today. And then we got a package coming in the mail today that we can probably play with in the snow. Yay. Yes! When you get home from school, hopefully it's here. I hope so. <laughs> Have a good day. Love you. Love you. It's 27 degrees out this morning. A little on the warmer side for us lately. And they're calling for three to five inches of snow today. And it's supposed to start snowing any minute now. The clouds look like they're ready. I need to clean that snow off the roof of New York City. Nobody wants to come out today. What are you ladies doing? That's the culprit who keeps pooping on the feed bucket. Well, the water didn't freeze last night being inside. I need to remember to stop bringing out less feed to New York City. We have less chickens in there now. There was still feed left over in the feeder from yesterday. Like a rocket. Crazy dog. We need to get a harness so we can tie a sled to her. water. You ready to go out, mister? Go. I want to make the goats a goat door through the barn door. I think a couple of measurements while we're up here. That's 24. Ouch. 32. Okay. 24 by 32. Remember that. We'll need it when we go back in after milking. This isn't for you, Willow. We're only giving the girls a little bit. Nope. Oh, you want your chat, honey? So I switched over to milking Willow only once a day. I've been milking her twice, and I was getting very little milk doing it twice a day. Doing it once a day now. I'm getting just as much milk, if not more, than I was when I was doing it twice. So I'm just milking her in the morning for the last, I think, two or three weeks I've been doing this. I have a piece of this old corrugated tin lying around. Figure this will work 
perfectly make our goat door. It's what, 20, 26 and a half inches wide. We need that's perfect because this that's what we're gonna need. We'll put it that way. And then height, what did I say? 32. And we got that, so we'll get this cut down, which is good because this bottom half is all bent in. So we'll use the top half. I know, I know. I need a workshop or a barn or something. I'm gonna get it in the comments. But someday we'll have one. For now, we just gotta work with what we have. And we got a nice warm basement. I know I fall into that trap all the time. Oh, if I only had this, if I only had that, or if this was better, if that was better. We need to focus on what we do have. What we do have is so much. We live in a great time. If you're wearing headphones, we're going to be making a lot of noise. When we built our house, we were able to go to a local sawmill and buy some second pine boards and bundles that were 16 feet long, four feet high by four feet wide. And it was all different. There was tongue and groove, there was V groove, different width, different lengths. And I saved a bunch of this stuff. So this was three years ago now. And I just thought, you know what? I might have some boards that we can use for the real system for the goat barn door. And then I found them. I don't know why I didn't use them in the house but I set them aside for some reason. It's perfect for our project today. I don't know if you can see Figaro or not, but we'll zoom in on him. See him up in the cherry tree? Crazy cat. I think Pluto chased him up there. What are you doing, Figaro? Did you chase him up there, Pluto? That wasn't very nice. He's crazy. There's the solar light. There's Figaro. <laughs> Crazy cat. Oh, he's higher than the goat barn. It's starting to snow out right now. Be interested to see how much snow we get today. I need to rip this board in half, and I don't feel like digging out my table saw and setting it up for one cut. It's a little buried in my mess of a basement. So I have my circular saw with my guide set up, and we're gonna rip it. We're gonna rip it. We're gonna rip it real good. The reason I chose to use this board is it's shiplap, so a 3 8 of an inch deep dado on each end and I can use that for the groove for the tin to ride up and down in. Guys. I think we better put another log in the fire. I need to find a handle to put on that piece of tin so we can pull it up easy and we don't have to worry about cutting ourselves. I know there has to be one around here somewhere. You just gotta find it. <sighs> we'll keep searching. We'll find one. I see one right there. It might not be thick enough though. Let's check it out and see. Cut there and then here. And here. 
That might work perfectly. See, just like this, we got a handle. All right, let's bring that back in the house. Let's see how we can get it secured to the tin. What are you doing, Mr. Figaro? Huh? What are you doing? You find some mice over there? Is there mice living in the feeder? I bet there is, huh? I can't remember exactly how the old saying goes, but something like, if you don't like the way things are going for you, or you don't like the way your life's going for you, something along those lines, change your perspective. I think something like this is a perfect example of that. To the average eye, it's just a branch. Put it the right way. It's a handle. We'll trim it up a little bit, and that'll be perfect. FedEx just dropped off the package I was telling her Olivia about. You guys will get to see it before her, but pause the video right now. But I want you to take a guess and see if you have any ideas what it is. I've been talking about it and I needed to figure something out to do with it. And this is it. It's going to be for work and for fun. We'll be able to use it right now. It's an all-terrain sled. I'll leave a link in the description down below to it on Amazon. I believe this one. Let's see. Ah, stickers. I believe this one's 54 inches long. You can get them 43 inches long, 54 inches long, and 66. I believe this is the 50. Now, if we didn't have everything in here, we could ride it down the hill. The goats are like, what are you up to now, dude? I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro because the goats will be knocking over the camera if I bring you in with me. So, at first we're gonna need our Earphones and our skill saw. Go to like dude. It's going out. And you lock the side of our bar. Just for another few minutes. And then you'll be able to go in.
do it. It's gonna be close. What do you think, goats? Now you should be able to walk right in. Well, I was like, what is that? There's a hole in my door. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> go it's gonna go this way keep the rusty side out not sure might have to space yeah. should space this off a little bit like that we'll center it and put this board like so. Yeah, that handle ain't gonna last. Might as well take it off now. <laughs> They're already chewing on it. <sighs> Silly goats. I'm not dragging you out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. I say Give everybody wants to go outside. Hopefully the easy way to do the chores. Watch out, Pluto! Yay! It's the fun way to get down here anyways. Yeah. It worked? Yeah. Yep, that's the easy way down. <laughs> no, never mind. I'm just gonna probably just keep it on. Did you girls come out and eat any? Do they eat their hay today, I wonder? Or if they've been inside? Yeah. They ate it? Mm -hmm. Did you see the goat door I put in? No. Push off of it. So, when it's really cold out, oh. if they want to be in, they can be in. We can get some of the window. They can come out. And then at night, I can close it up. Over. How is it to get over? Just pick it up. <laughs> oh uh, no, the camera's fine. Seven. And yesterday we got what 
six. Yes, there we go. Seven. Watch the pole. Oh. Back it up. There you go. Okay. Get in. Wait, ready? Wait, we're gonna run into it. You ready? Yeah. Wait, if we if we're gonna run into it. Run, run into it. Can you? <laughs> that was loud, Blue! <laughs> that was right in my ear too! <laughs> she wants to be in the sled. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was that fun? Yeah. Yeah. Before Thanksgiving. <laughs> Crazy. We ended up having so much fun sledding. I can't ever think of a time that I've been sledding this early in the season and that I've seen this much snow this early in the season. We ended up getting about five inches of snow all throughout the day this day. I had to go out that night and I had to plow. So this is where we're going to end today's video. I'm just so glad that you guys are along here coming along on this journey with us. We appreciate you so much. We hope everybody had an amazing Thanksgiving. I know we did. And we just can't wait to see you guys in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.